Paul teaches against circumcision and then re deflects when confronted. Okay, Justin cites 1 Corinthians 7 verse 19 in which Paul says that circumcision is nothing to support his belief that Paul taught against circumcision. Okay, well, there's, there's a lot to be said about this. Um, David, you can start off. You want to say something? Sure. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, so, you know, this this is a some confusion that a lot of people have, actually, uh, this idea that mm -hmm. taught that Paul taught against circumcision. Uh, but that's that's just not the case. And really good scholarship has been done um, in this area. Um, pretty much no Pauline scholar, uh, at least recent Pauline scholar, um, would say that Paul was against circumcision. Um, what Paul opposed was a misuse of circumcision. So in the first century, uh, there were certain sects of Judaism that taught that Gentiles could not be saved, that is, they could not be made part of the people of God unless they became Jewish. And the way that one would become Jewish, a way that a Gentile would become Jewish, is through ritual conversion. And this ritual conversion was a very long process, took about a year, and it included getting circumcised. Uh, so getting circumcised was like the culmination of this conversion process uh, in the first century. And so circumcision kind of became known as a shorthand term to refer to this entire rabbinic conversion process. So, um, so circumcision, therefore, it didn't refer to simply the surgical removal of the foreskin, but it also uh, referred to having a Jewish status in the minds of many first century Jews. And, and that's how the term was used in the same way uncircumcision uh, refers to having a Gentile status. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's much more involved with the terms right. here. So with that in mind, we can understand 1 Corinthians 7, 18 through 19 like this. Was anyone at the time of his call already circumcised? That is Jewish. Let him not seek to remove the marks of his circumcision. That is become a Gentile. Was anyone at the time of his call uncircumcised? A Gentile. Let him not seek circumcision to become Jewish. For neither circumcision, being Jewish, counts for anything, nor uncircumcision, being a Gentile, counts for anything, but keeping the commandments of God. So basically what Paul is saying here is that it doesn't matter whether you're a Jew or a Gentile. The thing that matters is keeping God's commandments. That's what is important. So he's referring to this ritual conversion in the first century. He's saying Gentiles do not seek to convert to Judaism. You know, uh, you do yeah. not have to do that. Keep, keeping uh, the commandments is what matters. Having a Jewish status as defined by these first century rabbis, that didn't matter. It was nothing, according to right. Paul. Uh, right. They weren't to focus on that. Um, and, and we know that Paul wasn't against circumcision itself because he circumcised Timothy in Acts 16, 3. And then in Acts 21, 20 through 26, he literally takes a Nazarite vow uh, to prove the false right. accusations against him that he did teach against circumcision. He took a Nazarite vow to show that no, he did not teach against circumcision, but he affirmed circumcision and the, the laws of Moses. So do you have it's, anything more to add on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, David, you explained it really well. I just want to add also mm -hmm. that the reason that Paul was so, if you read what he said regarding circumcision, the, he, it seems like he was very much against it. Like he, he almost like had a hatred for the ideas surrounding circumcision in his day. And like David mm -hmm. said, th these ideas were not biblical ideas. This was not the biblical teaching about right. circumcision. These were ideas that were um, added laws of men, you can say. And the right. biggest problem with it was that it was actually, for some believed, that circumcision saves you and that the, your, the, the blood yep. of your own circumcision is actually the blood spilled for your um, uh, salvation in essence, instead of the blood of Messiah. So right. as you can imagine, that's very dangerous because you can basically say, oh, we don't need Messiah because we have circumcision. Some believe that. So that's why Paul can yep. sometimes seem like he, 
He really doesn't like the idea of circumcision, but he is speaking about the first century perspective of circumcision, right? Not yeah. The he's he's, he's referring yeah yeah he's referring to conversion to, to Judaism. Basically, yes. the these uh, false teachers taught that in order to be saved, you have to convert to Judaism, and you have exactly. to do it our way. Yeah. So exactly. and that so that's what Paul uh, so strongly opposed.